you know, when it comes to Stratocasters, I mean, you know, every five minutes there's a new Stratocaster, and you know, really, I just kind of let it roll off in most cases. But this Eric Johnson Strat, there's a lot of things about this Strat that are really quite amazing. You've seen those step down tuners before, which in this case completely eliminate the string trees. And with the amount of bending that Eric Johnson does, you, you can see why they did that. The fingerboard is almost dead flat at the top. It is a compound radius, but it goes almost dead flat at the top. Uh, this is set up with 11 to 49 string. They were the strings that Jeff chose. It's uh, now regulated, intonated, you know, we made up that uh, self-adjusting radius gauge that you see me doing a bunch of other guitars. This is another study in sixths. In this case, it's in the key of A major or F sharp minor, but I'm kind of leaning more towards A major in this case. And it's just a, a progression that I've looped. I'm going to bring it in a little closer to the fingerboard and kind of explain as I go the sixth on the different groups of strings and how I'm kind of using them uh, in the context of uh, this chord progression. It's just kind of just to build some compositional ideas or improvisational ideas. Okay, so we're going to go from one group of strings to the next. So starting with the second and the fourth strings, we've got this, this diatonic six in A major. So first and third string will be... And then the third and fifth string. And, and lastly, we've got the fourth and sixth string. Uh, if I take that uh, second and fourth string that I showed you a second ago, and I add a note on the top string, we get this. that play This is the third part that I added, and this is on the, the third and fifth string. I'm following that rhythm and just kind of harmonizing with what's already there, just in lower voicings. So it's something like this. I don't know if this is it verbatim. I'm just doing this on the fly for you guys, but yeah, so this is the last voice, the bass voice. <laughs> three voices together and now I'll blow some single line stuff over top of that. Thank you. 
Jeff had indicated that there was some type of special system in here. Maybe I'll take a peek before before it leaves. So, uh, so this guitar is virtually dead silent. Like, can you hear anything? The amp's up, right? Doesn't matter where you put the switch. It also has a much thicker neck, but a much thicker sound. I mean, it almost sounds more like a Gibson than a Fender. Quick glass check. A minor 9, first position. Same chord, octave higher. Same. Here's an E. Same chord again. Same voicing. Well, suffice it to say that this guitar is perfectly in tune. Nice guitar to play, too, actually.